Welcome to Fabled Hunters. I'm Ada. I'm Saint. And we're going to open some stuff. Yup, we are. But before we start, uh, I just wanted to say it's a couple days before the release of Monarch. And right now, after spoiler season, things have been so hot. Yeah, it's the, crazy. Yeah, but it's insane. So many people want to get into it. Absolutely. And the market is on fire right now yeah. for flesh and blood product. Mm -hmm. That said, I can only imagine that more and more people want to come in and join our community. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we are still giving out our welcome decks because we want anybody who's interested in the game to join, subscribe, mm -hmm. reach out, fabledhunters at gmail.com. And our uh, marketing team has been receiving like 20 to 40 emails a day, but as promised, we're still gonna send all the cards, send all the starter packs, Absolutely. doesn't matter where you yeah. are in the world, so. Yeah, uh, when I said in a prior video that we're covering shipping, I didn't expect 40% of the people <laughs> viewing our videos and subscribing to be international, but yeah. we're doing it as long as supplies last. We were not kidding. I mean, if we we're gonna, if we we're doing this for money, <laughs> uh, we're doing it wrong. Yeah. But we made an investment we made a dedication of our time um and we want to expand the community definitely yep um that said some people that are looking at the activity in this market mm -hmm. they're probably going to join for the wrong reasons um how's that how's that mm -hmm. well when i joined the mtg high-end market mm -hmm. i went to an event called magic fest okay. a couple of years ago magic fest vegas run by channel fireball mm -hmm. hope uh, channel fireball gets their events going soon again i'll, I'll still be glad mm -hmm. to participate um and i was there i was looking for vintage magic mm -hmm. i was like who else that you know better to buy products from than a company called vintage magic <laughs> right so i went to the head of vintage magic i met him at the event and I was like sir I've seen your content I've gone to your website I've purchased from you many times on eBay it's an honor to meet you it's great what you're doing for the community mm -hmm. he's Asian I'm Asian you're yeah. you know um, putting and you know you're a, an Asian force for good within yeah. the community mm -hmm. and I literally extended my hand to shake his hand that's pre COVID this is absolutely, this okay, is pre-COVID, this is pre-COVID, this is 2019 sure. <laughs> when people actually still choke hands. But, yeah. and then, you know, normal people, if yeah. they respect you, they usually uh -huh. shake your hand back. Definitely. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I extended my hand to uh, shake his hand uh -huh. and thank him. And this gentleman just looked right past me Whoa. and pretended I wasn't there. Like, just a, a blank look as wow. if I didn't even exist. After telling him I was a customer, I mean... I was probably dressed like this because I'm always dressed like this. <laughs> and he was just dismissive of my possibility of even um, being a good customer. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that said. That's crazy. Yeah. That said, I went to a, uh, a European shop, mm -hmm. actually the Card Collective, a bunch of really awesome Danish guys who I still get in contact with. And... Um, yeah, we, we transacted a lot of power. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a pretty sizable deal for me, at least. We had mm -hmm. about 30 stacks of high society wow. all stacked up. And guess what? Mr. Vintage Magic, he came by. He's like, oh, what are you guys doing? Because he saw that amount of cash laid out. Yeah. And uh, you know what I did, Ada? What? I looked right past him <laughs> as if Whoa. he wasn't there and then i went back to conduct business i'm very glad to have made friends that day with the card collective that said i never want anybody within the high-end flesh and blood community to go through that experience because we're all people mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact ada do you, you got the book here yeah you want, you want to read the first line yeah, from definitely. legend story studios Trading card games are an incredible medium for bringing people together. Their unifying force transcends age, race, religion, gender, and even social status through a common language of playing great games. 
That's quite amazing. And I mean, think about that versus my experience with yeah. trying to purchase vintage magic. And, um, you know, I was getting judged mm -hmm. for my outward appearance. Yeah. This gentleman probably thought I couldn't even afford, you know, a dual land or mm -hmm. even a hundred dollar card. Yeah. And uh, I was trying to make a connection. I was trying yeah. to be, be human. Yeah. Don't, don't you get that? Yeah, I definitely, too? yeah, I really, I could definitely relate to that. I don't think you should ever judge a book by its cover. You never know the person unless you really get to know them. I've, there were so many times I walked into a room either in a business setting or a casual setting that people just thought, oh, there's another, you know, another girl. But um, I like how my philosophy of life is you always have to get to know the person before you judge them based on their look or, you know, just first impression. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. so true. And I mean, on the, uh, you know, beginning collectors and sometimes just like, um, dismissing mm -hmm. somebody for their appearance yeah that's that's one example but on the other extreme like what just happened with uh triple a when mm -hmm. we re released that triple a video people are just dismissive oh this is just some shadowy evil investor wow. oh he's just some you know rich bastard or, mm -hmm. or something like that people like to generalize yeah. but even the high-end collectors are just like everybody else mm -hmm. they people. like to open packs that are people yeah. they're you know in this to yeah. enjoy the game yeah, to enjoy definitely. the contents of the the packs to sweat yeah. it out basically yeah. Yeah. which is why we're you know sharing this fabled hunters definitely. experience so speaking of that ada as a matter of fact uh the last time i traveled to the midwest mm -hmm. primarily for work mm -hmm. um i stopped by triple a's office again uh, we got a little segment we want to show everybody. All right, y'all. Uh, we're back. I'm in AAA's office. Say what up. Hey, what's up, guys? Yep. Um, we were supposed to work on a deal between AAA and another large collector on Majestic Foils because there's uh, a lot of Alpha Majestic Foils. But um, I don't know. Uh, AAA had a really beat up ugly case in the corner see it's all beat up and i was like hey if you uh if you're ever gonna you know sell that on the secondary market somebody's going to bitch at you about it and you're not going to get full value so we ended up opening up the case and just wanted to share with you all what we got we had a uh, alpha rampage majestic rainbow foil iron rod helm Helm of Bison's Peak, Onrot Legs as the three cold foils, and they also pulled a Mask of Momentum as the legendary, and it was a nice mask. It was a really nice mask. Just a little feather on the corner. Otherwise, this thing is probably headed to Gold Label Land. But that wasn't all. There was a bonus legendary in the clothes! Bonus legendary! Hell yeah, so it was a win. Sick Merc. Wow, that was a sick Merc indeed. <laughs> it, it could have gone so much worse, as our viewers <laughs> probably know, right? Yeah. Wow, it's not every day you open up two legendary cold foils alpha legendaries in the same case it mm -hmm. was such an exhilarating experience and a lot of people just want to say oh shadowy investors <laughs> evil investors this is not investing this no. is just passion for the game people yeah. wouldn't be opening up cases if they didn't really care about the Definitely. game if we only wanted to yeah, just invest just them. yeah we just yeah. resell the cases we wouldn't yeah. be opening them up and creating a exactly. fabled hunters channel Definitely. right but yeah. we want to share this passion with the viewers, with the world. And yeah. there's so much more room. There's plenty of room for everybody. Yeah. Now, speaking of sick mercs, Ada, mm -hmm. um, I know you were talking about how you get a foothold into high end, how yeah. you get your first piece of high end. And uh, a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. I got on the phone with different members of the community and um i located what? a little something we've oh got God. something from uh kip uh the people in the magic community know him as dr kip anderson he um 
is well known just recently for doing a Magic of the Gathering unlimited box break. Oh, wow. As well as he followed it up in a couple of months with a Magic of the Gathering beta box break, and mm -hmm. there's so few beta boxes. Wow. And he's also done charitable things. Uh, I think he donated to Open Boosters, and he was featured on an episode of Open Boosters. And this gentleman is a, a mentor to me within the MTG community. And we've since become friends and also do business outside of MTG and Fab. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, take, take a look. This is for you, Thank Ada. you. Thank you, Saint. Thank you, Dr. Anderson. I'm excited. Can I open it? Yes, please. It's oh yours gosh, now. Oh my gosh, feels like yeah. Christmas. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, it's my first collectible card. So. Yeah, yeah, your first uh, piece of high end. Ooh. Nice. Wow. It's from. Okay. So, Saint, tell me more about the card. I, I see it's 9.5 and it's gotten. Yeah, it's Yeah, nine, nine quarters. I'll, I'll tell you about the card. card. Yeah, let me just. Yeah. Uh, Hold it I really think I've quick. seen one, but not in cold foil. Not in cold foil. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, Arcanite Skullcap. Yeah. This is the generic legendary uh -huh. in Arcane Rising. This is a cold foil, a uh -huh. legendary cold foil. So obviously the only thing better than this in this set is the Eye of Ophidia. Uh -huh. So this is a second most valuable as well as wow. a second most scarce cold foil in the set. And it's the best because it's generic. Just okay. like... Enlightened Strike, just uh -huh. like Command and Conquer, just like Toma Fiendal yeah. or Art of War, yeah. the generics are best because anybody can you use, use the generics. The so this is like, like a legendary gear yeah, that any it. class can use. So this is probably yeah. like the best overall helmet. Okay. It's a legendary helmet. You could build it. You know, yeah, you could you yeah. could put this you could put this as yeah. your gear for nice. your hero for any hero, and it's a nine point five. It's a it's a gold label. Mm. They're just the uh, pesky corners, but other yeah. than the pesky corners, this is a really beautiful piece. And uh, Dr. Kip Anderson um, really came through. Uh, Thank he, you. he gave it to you at a discount, and it probably even appreciated in value faster than any stock portfolio <laughs> while yeah, it was definitely. in the mail. So Thank this you. is your first piece. Thank you, Saint, and thank you, Dr. Anderson. It feels very different because my first um, high end of flesh and blood card and holding it feels like you know it feels like it's my first <laughs> new little baby and yeah. like wow like it really thank you i feel like the people in the community are so welcoming and i feel like i, f I feel like i'm part of it and i'm so honored to be well, here ada yeah. you're definitely a part of it you're on you know one Able of the hunters. you're on the, one of the premier shows <laughs> yeah and that was not all um Ooh, like i said I made um, a couple phone calls that afternoon. Had to, uh, you know, ask for a couple, couple favors. Called in some favors, you know, because, you know, we, uh, we've we done plenty of favors for people in the community. And there's something f to Ada from James, oh, a.k.a. Wow. James Badger. James Badger. So oh, here you go. Thank here you. Go. you. Wow. wow. It really feels like Christmas now. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's in here? Sorry guys, it's a little sticky. Ooh, alright, we got oh my god, I know this card. Didn't you tell me in one of the videos that it's like one of the best cards to have? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's also a generic card, so you could Build Play with anybody, there. absolutely, wow. absolutely. Wow, beautiful card. Yep. Wow, I it's, thank you. You're, you're, don't thank me, thank uh, James. Mr. James thank Badger. You, you James. can call him James Badger, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, wow, this is a beautiful card. And tell me more about the card, Saint. If you don't mind. Uh, I, I just, I don't, I don't know why. I, I, I feel better about yeah. presenting a card when I have it in my hands. Yeah. Um, this is the uh, Fine Doll Spring Tunic. Uh -huh. uh, you've seen it and you yeah. it's familiar to you because yeah. we've pulled it a couple times. Yes, we've actually, pulled one for our yeah. viewers yeah. and we're about to send it away to yeah. our lucky it's a giveaway. Yeah, right? our yeah. lucky new winner. Um, this is a cold foil. Uh -huh. This is also, just like the Arcanite Skullcap, uh -huh. this is the second most valuable cold foil in Welcome to Wraith. Oh, nice. Second only to the Fabled, which we... Uh -huh. Womp womp, don't, <laughs> don't have one yet. Uh, the uh, 
uh, what is it? The sorry, the heart of Findall, uh -huh. and uh, this is the second best. This is also the generic equipment, the mm -hmm. epic legendary that any class yeah. can use. It also generates resources every few turns, mm -hmm. meaning that it pumps out the ability for you, the the resource necessary for you to cast spells oh. or you know um, cool. play cards. So it's a nine quad plus plus. Yeah. It's just a zero point five away from a gold label nine point five. Amazing. Yeah, but even a nine quad plus plus within a Beckett slab carries a bunch of premium. So wow. yeah, now you're set up with the two um, most flexible, most versatile, and most valuable uh, legendaries in nice. each set in cold foil. One in eight hundred and thirty three. So yeah, wow. can't say enough about that. I'm so honored. Thank you. Well, again, I feel very welcome, and um, this I, I feel like I'm gonna get addicted. I'm gonna get pretty hooked on like buying and like collecting them too now. Yeah. Because it feels so different when I'm holding it like little baby. Yeah, they're really yeah. pretty, aren't yeah. they? The cold Beautiful. foils. I think we said it yeah. before. They're like they look good on camera, but there's nothing like holding your own cold foil yeah, in person. Yeah. In front of your eyes. Appreciating yeah. the, the worksmanship and appreciating the scarcity and beauty of that. That's why I call it the most sought after bosom in the land. Yeah. In the land of Wraith. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that said, I uh, wanted to go back to my trip to the Midwest with AAA. Um, it wasn't all fun and games. Uh, I think I showed up for breakfast one day and we left late at night after a 14 hour day of looking through thousands of cards. Wow. And we even put a second day of work into it. And uh, yeah, yeah, we actually put something interesting together. Check out the video, guys. All right, guys, uh, closing out uh, the second day. Been here two days with AAA. We uh, have the uh, MOM play mat to uh, commemorate that sick double pull from that case. I'm so glad I talked him into it. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, a win's a win. A win's a win. We went through a lot of stuff. We didn't even get to the super rares. I mean, there's super rares from ARC, uh, super rare foils. Didn't even get to much crew, but we got to the cold foils and we got some stuff. If I could, there we go. We got AAA being the most grossly underpaid cameraman in the biz. We went through some stuff. This is all going to Beckett. Just good old silver, good old silver. We're gonna do round two. Even got some other stuff, some Krunix, full art blades, even the heart. Don't sleep on the heart, guys, even if it's unlimited. And we got some promo cold foils. I like cold foils. I am bullish on cold foils all over the place. Go bananas for fun. These little potion uh, cold foils, they're almost like gold foils and uh, Kayo Cold Foil and Rhino Rainbow. We also put together a pretty insane Majestic Rainbow Foil Alpha WTR collection uh, to help AAA extend the goodwill, the Fab Fam goodwill to another very sizable private collector that we will be talking about, hopefully interviewing in the coming days. All right, guys, we are calling it a night. Two long days. See you around. Bye. Bye.